begin with the hate crime on the east side. This was not far from Microsoft. Good evening. I'm Monique Minglavin. I'm Steve Rabel. Cairo 7 east side reporter Allison Grandy is live in Bellevue. And Allison, police say the attack could have been a lot worse if one man hadn't stepped in to help. Steve, that woman was walking here along the sidewalk on 148th Avenue Northeast. But what those suspects didn't count on is there was a guy in the parking lot sitting inside his van. He saw what was going on. He called 911. Then he got out and confronted them. They called her a terrorist. They told her to go home. And when she replied to them, they without provocation assaulted her. Police say the woman moved to Bellevue from India four months ago. She was walking down 148th Avenue Northeast just after 2 p.m. yesterday when she was attacked. Punched her, um, threw her to the ground, and were showing no signs that they were going to break off the attack. A man sitting in a van nearby saw the assault, called 911, and jumped out to stop it. The male suspect brandished a knife at the Good Samaritan and told him to keep his distance. Police swarmed the area looking for the pair and found them seconds before they tried to board a metro bus. Each time it happens, it still hits you in the stomach. It makes you feel you're not part of this place that you have called, that you now call your adopted home. Lalita Upala is with the India Association of Western Washington and heard about the hate crime. For every person who lashes out in anger or fear, there's another good Samaritan who reaches that hand out and says, we're here, we're friends. The 35-year-old victim was physically injured in the attack but the emotional damage was worse. The suspects, a 47-year-old woman and 29-year-old man, were arrested for investigation of malicious harassment, assault, and robbery. Had they gotten onto the Metro bus, they might have gotten away. Now, I talked to that man who was sitting in his van. He was back in this lot today. He told me he knew what he had to do, so he did it. He didn't want to talk about it on camera. Police credit him, though, making that call to 911 and intervening that this could have been so much worse. They solved this crime in a matter of minutes. Live in Bellevue, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.